everyone, it's Hannah and today I am going to show you how to make this really cute little brick stitch Snow White. I actually found the pattern on braceletbook.com, which is really exciting. Um, I used an alpha pattern and she's so dinky, it's so cute and I just love her. She looks so adorable. If you don't know how to square stitch, please, please, please check out my square stitch basics video. In there I will cover how to do the basics of square stitch, increase, decrease, starting off, finishing off and all of that jazz because this would be a super duper long tutorial if I was to cover it in here. But with all that being said, let's just get on with the tutorial shall we? Okay, so here are the supplies I used. These are Mayuki Delica beads in size 11. I also have about a meter of beading thread threaded onto a size 10 beading needle with a bead stopper on the end. So we are going to start with the row that is pointed out just here. So we are going to pick up three black beads, five cream beads, and then three black beads. I don't know what color to call it. I think the color is matte cream. But anyway, I accidentally only picked up four beads, but I do rectify it whilst I'm doing the next row. So just ignore that. You need five cream beads, not just four. And I've gone for a matte cream color because her skin is very pale and this is paler than my new normal color I use. So then we are going to pick up another black bead and we are going to start our stitch by going in the circles and yes I'm trying to fix the focus on the camera and trying to make it work I'm sorry but I, I do my best that's all you can ask and then we're going to attach another black bead And I'm all fingers and thumbs in the beginning of this tutorial, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'd had tea, I'd eaten, I don't know what's wrong with me. Clearly I just wasn't quite with it. I'm just throwing things everywhere and, and I'm all over the place. But it's okay, I get a hang of, I get a hold of myself and get a grip and all of that jazz um, shortly, panic not. Then we're going to pick up a pale pink bead, which looks the same colour as the cream but definitely isn't. Um, for her little rosy cheeks. Gotta love Snow White really, haven't you? Well, I suppose you don't have to. She's a bit pathetic, as in, I don't know. Her voice sounds a bit pathetic, but I do quite like Snow White. I wish I was as pale as Snow White and had black hair and lips as red as, was it meant to be blood or roses? I can't remember. Sorry, we attached another pink bead and now we're attaching a cream bead and I'm starting to think, wait a minute, this isn't going to work with the four beads I have. But it's fine. I work it out in a second. Then we're attaching her red mouth, which is super cute. I don't know. I just like Snow White. Who's your favourite dwarf? Mine is Dopey, just because he's super cute. Well, the Bashful is also adorable. Okay, see, now I've added on my extra cream colors I needed to for the first row. Better late than never, I suppose. So now we're attaching another cream bead. I'm just making sure it all sits straight and all of that jazz. I just don't think I left a long enough of a tail, so I don't know what to do with my hands. So now we are going to be attaching two pink beads. Sorry for the super long uh, tutorial, but you wanted slower videos, we have slower videos. So we have the two pink beads, and then we've got two black beads we're attaching onto the last two black beads that we have of the row, and then shortly we shall be increasing. I decided not to put her little collar on. I suppose it's not collar. Yeah, it's the collar of her dress, I suppose. But I decided not to add that just because I just didn't didn't fancy it, didn't want to. But if you want to, you can. It is up to you. And back up through that black bead. Then I'm gonna take my bead stopper off because it's getting on my nerves and I can't I just want it gone. Be gone! And then we are going to go through all of the beadwork of the first row. Every single bead, just going through all of those, just to straighten it up a bit. And I only do this once uh, in this tutorial. Some people do it after every row, some people do it after every couple of rows. I've literally just done it once. Um, it does honestly depend on the size of the beadwork, 
Sometimes you can just make it sit differently. Then we're going to pick up two beads because we are going to increase on this side, um, ready for this row and the next row. Then we're going to go back around and just increase like we all know how to do. And I've sped this a little bit up. I've, well, I've sped up this the rest of it, the tutorial just a teeny tiny bit more, um, but not too much more. And then you want to attach another black bead and get in a tangle. And one more, I think. Yes, one more. I could just be looking at the pattern instead of what I'm doing. That would make more sense when filming a voiceover, wouldn't it? Come on, Hannah, what are you doing? Get a grip, woman. Obviously, well, not obviously, but if you decide to make this for yourself, I highly recommend using black thread not white thread because then the thread will be more hidden. So then we are going to attach another cream colour. Like so. And then a black colour for her eye. Just one eye to start with. Obviously you're not going to attach both eyes at the same time if we're sewing one bead at a time. Someone commented on, on um, my Ursula video and said that you can square stitch with two beads at a time. Oh, we're attaching another cream. Uh, well, actually we're attaching three creams, so we have two more to come after this. But I tried to attach beads two at a time, and I don't know, I just couldn't make it sit right. Um, it was too higgledy-piggledy, and uh, I don't know, it just didn't look as nice. I, maybe I just need more practice with it. Um, but it would really speed up bead weaving because I was going to do a Tsum Tsum uh, Winnie the Pooh but I got about halfway through it and the video was about half an hour long and I just wasn't feeling it so I just stopped and made Snow White instead. So now we are attaching another eye. Bless her. And then we have one more cream. Oh it's snowing, how exciting! Sorry, I got distracted, I'm back. And then we are attaching two black for her hair. And you will note that we have increased on one side, but not on the other, and that is because square stitch is weird, and you can, yeah, square stitch is weird, no other explanation. So now we're attaching the last black of the row, and then we have to increase for this row and the row underneath, because break stitch is weird. And it took me a long time to work it out, but I managed it somehow. So I'm sure you will too. So then that's in a loop. And then I just like to sew back through a few beads. So I think I'm going back through four beads there. And just to attach it all together. And then my needle got stuck and I was terrified that I was going to break all the beads. Has anyone else done that where you are sewing back through your work and you break a bead and sometimes I just want to throw my work across the room. So now we're attaching another black bead. That was the last increase. It is. It's the last increase of the project so that's exciting. Um, and then another black bead. And then we have one more black bead after this. We are essentially repeating the row that we just did. We're not even essentially repeating it. We are literally repeating the row we just did. <laughs> So now we have one cream bead, wonderful stuff, and then another black bead. So I was just repositioning myself if you heard me wiggle around, I wasn't sat comfortably. And then we have three cream beads in the middle. I filmed my kit video the other day. I'm not really on it with videos at the minute. And I realized why I wasn't on it with kit, uh, videos this week. Because I usually like to have my Sunday video filmed on Thursday and today is Friday. So yeah, not very organized. It's because I filmed my kit video this week. So I have filmed three and filmed and edited and uploaded three videos this week. Um, now we're attaching the other black bead. Um, but one of them you're not going to be able to see unless you buy a kit, so that's exciting. And then we are attaching a cream bead there, and then we've got three black beads to finish the row. 
and um, my kit video is 37 minutes long. I fully explain brick stitch as I'm going along making the bows that I'm doing and it took over 16 hours to upload. I set it to upload at half past eight in the evening and it was done at half past one the next day, as in half past one in the afternoon. So now we're decreasing, so I'm sewing back through the three black beads of the row before and then back through two of the black beads of the row that we just did, so I'm coming out of the second to last bead in the row. Then we are attaching two black beads and wiggling it around. Sorry about the focus. It's really difficult to keep your hands still when doing bead weaving and the inclination is to bring the beadwork closer and closer to your face. Um, and yeah, I've tried to do it with auto whatever focus and it just focuses on the beads in the background or my thumbnail so it doesn't add in my physical thumbnail it doesn't focus on the beadwork itself which is super frustrating but now we're attaching a seven cream beads across so yes um yeah and it's super annoying and then it just keeps changing focus and then when you want it to focus on something it's just it just it's like a spoiled toddler. Nope, I'm not doing it. You asked me to do it, so I'm not going to do it. And then I just get annoyed at it. So manual focus is the way to go. But it does mean that I have to hover my hands sort of in the air, which is really awkward to do. And then I'm resting my forearms on the table and <laughs> it really hurts, especially as you're spending uh, over half an hour. I think this, I spent like 40 minutes on this. Um, I mean, trying to not move at all is, yeah, it's tough. It is tough. I do appreciate your um, constructive criticism, but, and I do, I just would like to let you know that I am doing my best to improve my videos, um, but and I, I, I can only do what I can, is the point I'm making here. <laughs> so now we're attaching two more black beads. really annoying I got a parcel today and I want to do a parcel opening video for Tuesday but um, I can't be able to put any makeup on today so it's just gonna have to sit there until Monday and it's Friday today and it's gonna be a really stressful weekend <laughs> so now we're ready to start on the next row which is four black beads for her little fringe area and I just need a drink excuse me My mouth gets parched talking constantly. Clearly I don't like awkward silences, this must be something that I have an issue with and I just have to fill the awkward silence with nonsense. Like me telling you that you're having a parcel opening video on Tuesday. And then we have a crafty chat happening on Thursday. Is there anything particularly you want me to talk about in my crafty chat by the way? We have three cream beads coming up or now I am attaching three cream beads. Um, I really liked the style of the stripped down challenge um, where it's unedited and I'm just going for it. I really liked that. So I think all my crafty chats might be more like that. I might edit something out if I say something particularly stupid, which probably will happen. Now we're gonna attach four black beads. But is there a particular topic that you want me to chat about? Is there anything you want to know? The option's there. If not, you're just gonna get my usual mundane drivel. And you seem to like my normal mundane drivel, so that's okay. But yeah. I just think that you like listening to my very posh English accent. I think this is what's happening. I am, super, I am a bit posh, let's be honest. Which is pretty good considering I'm living with a northerner. So now we're picking up another black bead to start the next row. And it's just directly above. You don't have to increase or decrease or any of that fandango. Then we're starting on her little hair bow. Hooray! So we're picking up a red bead and attaching that. 
But yeah, considering I've lived with a northerner for coming on three years now, then we're attaching three black beads. Um, by northerner, by northerner, I mean a northern English person, obviously. And then I lived in the Midlands for from 2009 till 2005. Oh, look at that bead stuck to my nail, that's funny. Um, yeah, and I didn't pick up an accent at all, so that's quite impressive. Staying true to my roots. And then we're attaching one white bead in the middle. Oh, it's not white, it's cream. Come on, Hannah, get a grip, woman. It's a cream bead, it's not a white bead. Now we're attaching three black beads once again for the other side of her fringe. Because Snow White is very symmetrical. And she sings at birds, as all of you know. Now we're attaching a red bead. And finishing off the row with another black bead. If you've managed to stick with it thus far, let me know your, uh, let me see. Uh, we're attaching another two black beads. So we start in the next row. If you've made it this far, name a, Disney character. No, oh, tell me your favourite Disney character. If you've got this far, tell me your favourite Disney character. Yeah, let's do that one instead of me trying to think of anything else. So then we've got a red one. My favourite Disney character. It's kind of tough because, you know, Baymax is amazing. But um, now we're attaching five black beads across. Uh, blah, blah. Tinkerbell is my favourite. She's amazing. But not like... Tinkerbell in the Newton Tinkerbell movies? No. Tinkerbell, as in in Peter Pan, sass pants, Tinkerbell, who hates Wendy and is just a bit of a bitch, but is amazing. She's my favorite. Just because she's a fairy and she's a right ass, is amazing. Whistle while you work, is this her? Yeah it is. Whistle while you work. So now we're attaching a, another red bead. Continuing her little bow, it's me trying to find where the focus is on the camera. You go a bit cross-eyed after looking at beadwork for a while and considering that I'd spent quite a long time working on a Winnie the Pooh one before this. Um, yeah, I think my eyes were getting a bit tired. And therefore when I looked at the camera, I couldn't see what was in focus and what wasn't ridiculous so now we are going to decrease again so go back through a few beads I think I went back through three and then you want to come back towards yourself through a couple of beads then we are going to attach two black beads wonderful there's the other one. And then across the middle of this row, we are going to attach five red beads. And this is for her little headbandy bow type thing. She has a very 60s hairstyle going on in this, in this uh, pattern. Words, words aren't happening. I don't have anything to say. I was about to say something and I can't remember for the life of me what it was. I really want to paint my nails a lighter colour but they're still stained turquoise from the nail varnish that I wore in my how to get long or how to stop biting your nails video. Um, I painted my nails a really nice turquoise colour with sparkles on top and I used a peel off base coat for the first time. Hindsight, when you use a peel off base coat, put a normal base coat over the top of it. Didn't know that. Know that now. I have turquoise nails. It's super annoying. 
what are you gonna do? I don't want to buff them too much either because that makes your nails thinner. So now we are going to attach two black beads. Just gotta wait for it to grow out, I suppose. And then we're decreasing again, so you want to sew back through your beadwork again, and then back out again, ta-da. And then you're going to attach one black bead. Yep, and then two red beads. There we go. I'm watching a, um, a VidCon 2015 panel whilst I'm making this tutorial. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, no, I enjoyed it. It was good. Wish I could go to VidCon one day. I'll go one day. And then one more black bead in the center. And then to finish up the row, you are going to attach two more red beads and another black bead. The reason I'm telling you this now will become apparent in around two seconds. Maybe a bit longer. Boom, my camera cut out. So yeah, attach the bead that I was attaching and the last back bead and then sew around as though you were decreasing and come out of that last red bead that you were just attaching. Then you're gonna pick up another red bead and attach that like so and then sew round and back through your work da -da 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 -da. until you come out of the red bead on the other side. Um, so it's the last red bead in the row on either side you want to be attaching the other red bead onto and make sure that your work isn't all hooked round and pick up a red bead and attach it and then once it's all attached you just want to sew in your threads um, both the tail thread and your working thread and then you're good to go huzzah well done yeah I'm really sorry that the video cut off at some point I haven't edited it yet because I've literally just finished filming it um, so I don't know where it cuts off but hopefully 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 it's not too detrimental to the whole design you have the pattern on the screen so you knew what row was next and what beads were coming next and all of that I just think she's super cute with a little red mouth and adorable if you did enjoy this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up your support truly means the world to me and why not hit subscribe I post new craft tutorials here in the corner of craft every single Sunday and then I post bonus videos in the week as well and have you seen my bonus videos for this week on Tuesday it was plan with me time and I said I was going to be making a phone cozy but that hasn't happened so sorry about it but you can you can watch me plan my week and then on Thursday I filmed a Q&A and I answered all the cues or I aid all the cues I suppose I should say and you can learn some interesting stuff don't forget to check out the description box below for a list of all the things that I used and a link to the pattern and where I bought all my supplies and all of that jazz. And yes, with all that being said, I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye! I'm going to show you how to make these really cute peyote triangles.